Okay, let's get ready to color some hair in Photoshop. Hey, now you can use the same photo I have here. All you have to do is go into the projects folder on the CD and then open up that folder and then go into the coloring hair folder, coloring hair. And then from that folder, just open up the woman.psd file and then it'll, you'll see the photo that you're looking at right here. Okay, so do that if you want to follow along or you can open up your own photo, do whatever you want. Okay, let's color some hair. We're going to take this photo. We're gonna make her hair have all kinds of colors and everything. This is gonna be so awesome. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want you to do is come over to the toolbar right here. And I want you to come down to the bottom of the toolbar and click on the quick mass mode button right here. Right there. And it looks like nothing ever happened to the image. Nothing happened yet. But I tell you what, after we click after we go in the quick mass mode, this is what we're gonna do. I want you to come up here to the toolbar and click on the brush tool, just like that. Now we need to select a fairly good sized brush to color in this hair. We're going to actually create the mask right now for this hair. So you want a pretty good sized brush. I'm actually going to go up here and make the brush a little smaller than I have right now. It looks a little big so I'm just going to come up here and just resize that down about 65. About 65 looks pretty good and you, 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 know, you, you can go ahead and resize the brush as you work on the image as well. It doesn't really matter either way. So I'm going to come over here after I have my brush and just start to paint on the image just like this. We're painting around, painting around. Looks like she's got some nice blonde hair. I don't even know if that's really her hair color or what. It looks like it was colored or something, but I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna come down here and we're gonna go right down here. Up, a little down. We're gonna go down here. Okay, great. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Now I just want to get real close to the forehead here, just a little bit. That way it blends in and everything with the scalp and all that. We want it to look real. Okay, so I'm going to make that brush just a little bit smaller here and take it down to about 45 pixels, maybe 17 pixels, maybe 45. All right, there we go. Hey, and I'm just going to drag, drag, drag that in here. Color that hair right there. There we go. And right there. Check it out. So we've got her hair, her whole full of her uh, a full head of hair masked right now and this is what we need to do now don't be afraid she looks like something you probably don't want to see at three o'clock in the morning or anything like that uh, don't worry about how she looks right now because that's not gonna that's not how she's gonna look we're just developing the mask in Photoshop okay so if you've got it like this the next step I want you to go right up here to filter and then down here to blur and then over here to Gaussian blur because what we're gonna do is is we're going to blur the mask that we just drew with the paintbrush okay and when we do this it's gonna soften the edges of the mask and it's gonna make everything blend in really cool and make it look more realistic so go ahead and open up the Gaussian blur and just turn the radius the turn the radius up a little bit right here don't turn it up too high just a little bit more you can actually see yourself uh, blurring the mask right here in the little preview window look at that watch I'll turn up the radius and look at that you see how it gets smoother right there but we don't want to go too smooth so this is how it was originally so I'm gonna take it just to about right there that looks pretty good just give it a good eye that looks pretty good I'm gonna go ahead and click OK all right now we need to switch back to normal mode all right come right down here or standard mode is what they normally call it right down here and click back on that button bam right there and our mask becomes a selection now I want you to come up here to select up here on the select menu and inverse that selection there you go so we are just selecting the hair right now all right let's get on with it come right up here to image adjustments and come down here to hue and saturation okay now this makes it really easy to do, uh, but you know it's a lot. It's a lot more better to adjust the hair color when we don't have this annoying selection there. So you can go ahead and turn that off temporary by coming up here to view and check extras right there and it disappears so all we have to do is just come over here to the hue and saturation command hey and then just go ahead and adjust the hue to change the color of the hair. And then we can take the saturation down a little bit. I can darken the head of hair just like that. Bring over the hue and look at that. We have a brunette. It's that easy. It's that easy in Photoshop. Look, we did it right there. I'll go ahead and darken. Actually, I think she looks a little better than a brunette. Ooh, she looks a little better having a brunette hair than she did a, She did blonde hair. You might look better. I don't know. Take a picture of yourself or something and put it in Photoshop. I might take a picture of myself. I, I guess I have brown hair. 
But I'm, I don't know, I might look good kind of blonde, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in Photoshop and see what I look like. But anyways, back to the tutorial and everything. Um, I'm going to go ahead and you see what I just did right here. I just adjusted the hue just like that. We can control the saturation. Now, well, let me show you what's going on here. The hue slider will change the color of the hair. Okay? You see that? Now, but if we change the saturation, that will enhance the color that you have set, uh, set for the hue slider right here. You see that? See how it enhances the color? And we can actually take the saturation all the way down. You want gray hair? It's an old lady, oh my God. But you know, you know what I mean? So anyways, in the lightness, we can actually brighten the hair up a little bit. We can make it gray. You can have gray hair, green hair. You know, it really doesn't matter. You can have any color hair that you want. And this is how you do it in Photoshop. Now you can see some of the areas right here. I got coloring on the skin and everything. Well, that it all comes back to at the very beginning on how, on how good that you mask the hair, okay? So it's all about how fine. You zoom into the image, do whatever you can. Try to only mask the hair itself because if you don't then you're going to end up getting some of the skin right here which is okay sometimes but you know what I mean but for this tutorial you know you kind of get the idea I want to really show you how this all works so there you go you want her a brunette you've got it I'm going to go ahead and just move it just a little bit off here darken this down a little bit to make her a brunette she looks beautiful that looks really good I'm going to go ahead and click OK now no one ever notices man I'm telling you this is a great tip alright you guys ever you guys are I love you guys you guys are great um, I'll see you on the next video